Okay, welcome back in everyone. Uh, we're going to start a little project. This is to build a little hot air engine. I just bought a kit and I want to get started on this. So that's the, what it should look like at the end. Hopefully mine will turn out the same. Um, come with all the um, plans to make it. All there. And the raw materials. Come with a box full of all the raw materials. You've just got to machine up all the components yourself. All the nuts and bolts and screws and stuff. So the first part, well, not the first part on the plans, but it's the first part I'm going to make, is the actual uh, metho burner. So, so it's this one here, it's number five on the plans. So what I intend on doing, because you, you get one piece, this is number, it says number five, all the parts are all numbered as well, make it easy to work out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab it in the chuck here, and I'm going to machine the lid up first. It's all out of one piece. So I'll get started on that first. And hopefully this project will turn out in the end. So I'll just face it off first. There's not much material to play with here, so I can't really make any mistakes with it. Okay, the next part, um, I need to drill out um, a 9mm hole in the centre of it. So this is where the wick actually comes up through. Well, this is a top view and this is a side view, so the wick will actually come up, up through here. So it's a 9mm hole we're going to drill. Oh, that should be deep enough. Okay, the next part. Get some focus. Need to do these features on the outside here. So maybe 12 millimeters. Um, I'm assuming that's two millimeters there. They haven't got it. It's not on the program. On the drawings, I should say. Okay, the actual um, finished diameter on the OD is supposed to be 39 millimetres, and that's actually the raw material size, the way it is here. So I'm hoping I just use a bit of emery cloth and a bit of scotch bright, just to see if I can polish it up a bit. Hopefully that'll clean up. I'm not sure if it might be a bit hard or not. Let's see how we go. Yeah, 
there, so you come up all right. All right, the next part we need to um, get the drawing. Get the drawing. The next part. We need to machine this flange here, which is 33 millimeters and two mil thick. All right, we'll do that. All right, I should be able to just line. I'm using, going to use a parting tool, so I should be able to just line this up with the edge. Like I'll zero my DRO. Move over two millimeters. Okay, that's two mil. Now this diameter, what did I say it had to be? It had to be 33 millimeters. It's got to go into we get 33 mil. That's the lid. It came out good. All right. All right. To make the bottom, this is this part here. What I need to do is take it out of the chuck, turn it round, and machine up. I grab the chuck on this side and machine up as far as I can to 38mm OD. I'd face it off and then 38mm OD and take it back out of the chuck, turn it round and that way I can come in and turn this on its side, it's a bit easier. And then I can machine this flange bit here on it which is actually a millimetre thick. Oh yeah, one mil thick. And I'll bore it out in the board diameter is 33 millimeters that's the way the lid will slide in in there anyway i'll get started if that'll all make sense all right just turned around now i'll try and hold it what a minimum amount i possibly can that way i can machine up as far as i can on it Should be the 38 millimeters we're after, which it is. And I'll hit that with a bit of Scotch Bright. I'll break, break that edge then with a bit of Scotch Bright to make it nice and shiny.
Okay, I've got it turned around. Uh, I've just stuck some emery cloth between the jaws and the job, just to stop it marking. You don't want to wreck up your good surface finish. Okay, the total distance we need is 20 millimetres. So I'll face that off so it's 20 mil thick. And then we can turn, I'll put my parting tool back in and I'll go from this side back this way. So I get a one millimetre flange just on, be sitting right on the end here. And then I can start the boring procedure on it. Okay, uh, next step, bore it out. So the diamond on this one, it's only just to, so the lid slips in. So that was what? 33 millimetres. That's what we're chasing on that one. As long as that slides in nice and neat. Okay, that should be all finished. I'll take it out, give it a little bit of a deburr, and then I'll come back. I'll finish this little metho burner. Um, as you can see, I'll put the wick in it. The cup part of it turned out good too. Slips together. I'll fill it with metho, and that'll be the little burner for the engine. All right, second part of this video, I'll do it. I'll do a video per part I make up. So it will be this flywheel that in camera and that's made out of this 80 millimeter diameter aluminium 
Right, so that's part two. So watch out for the next video. Thanks for watching.